Okay, now I'm going to show you how to print your screens on transparency paper. So you can go up here and go File, Print. You need Adobe Acrobat installed for this. I have 9 and I have 8. Now keep note, if you have 8 and 9 both on your system at the same time, sometimes they can conflict with each other. So just kind of know that you know something might be going wrong here. It's just because I got both on my system. So here. I'm going to choose 9. Here, I'm going to choose 9. It's very important that in the Illustrator knows that it's printing to 9. I have a fit to page option that's on. Under marks and bleeds, I have registration marks on. And in my output, I have separations on. Based upon my screen, if I want like a gradient to appear, we all know that you know the larger the larger the dot pattern it helps with screen printing because it will allow that area for more ink to be pressed through so if you have a gradient i would say you know these lower numbers if you don't have a gradient i would say these high numbers i'm going to choose 100 lpi i'm not going to choose to put any of these in there and notice i have blue and black I have went in and actually named the colors blue and black and that's a very th easy thing to do. I've shown you that in the past. You just double click it and I labeled them blue and black. I should have capitalized that but that's alright. Okay so let's give it a whirl shall we. Um, let's see if this works. Print. Finder. It's 10.06. Good. I'll have this file and here is my pages. Oops. Close that out. So I have this one and this one. Look, it has the registration marks already on it. It's perfect. It's absolutely smurfly perfect. So that is what I like about this setup. Now it's very close. See how kind of close that is? But here's the beauty of PDF. When I go to print the PDF, I can choose to do shrink to printable area and that will scotch it in a little bit. If I hit none, I also have the ability to print using an inkjet printer or laser jet. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Tricky, right? So this is a very useful way of printing out your plates. Well, screens, sorry. Keep thinking of plates for some reason. All right, so that's my new workflow. I hope you enjoy it. And now, you know, there's always an assignment, right? So heads up for your assignment in the next video.